Good morning, evening, afternoon, night, don't know when you watch me. And welcome to episode 21 of Mouses Makes Podcast. Yes, the podcast has come of age today. And not only that, but today, September the 1st, is the beginning of our very first knit along. I apologise if you can hear the rattling of pans. I've just realised that Ewan has started, he's chosen now to unload the dishwasher. Sorry. Honestly, there is something every week. Anyway. It is the 1st of September. It is the beginning of our sock along. And I'm also declaring it to be autumn. And in honour of that, I am wearing my version of the Rocket Tee that I finished a few weeks ago. Knit in Knit and Pearl Yarns Rose Gardens. That was close, nearly forgot. Um, Rose Garden colourway. This is the first time I've worn it, as opposed to just trying it on. And it fits really nicely. I'm very pleased with it. And to that end, I have started another one which I will show you later on. I've also changed, this is information you don't really need, from my white Birkenstocks to my brown ones in honour of it now being autumn, which is my favourite season. I love autumn for many reasons. It's beautiful. It's not beautiful today, it's grey and miserable, but generally autumn is beautiful. Soon soon with luck anyway back to more important stuff today marks the start of the sock along now i've had a few inquiries as to whether people can make hats cowls whatever and the answer in this case is no it is a sock along it is just for socks i'm planning for the new year something slightly more inclusive i didn't intend to exclude anybody excuse me by um making it a sock knit along it's purely that it's my first knit along it's in honor of my birthday and halloween which are my two favorite things in the year socks are my favorite thing to knit and so i chose socks to be the subject of my first knit along however if socks are not your thing, I do apologise. I didn't mean to exclude you. I was just being selfish and indulging myself. Seek out, if you haven't already, um, Leslie of the Not Quite Enough Yarn podcast. She and a friend of hers, another podcaster whose name has left the building, um, they are running an accessories make along. So that is probably the place for you. Also, and this is something that I meant to mention last week, but I was all over the place last week. I wrote notes and I forgot half the things I was supposed to do. The very lovely, very clever Caroline of the Aria Bark podcast, which she um, presents with her son, Andrew, who I find hilarious. I'm not sure Caroline thinks he's very funny. But he just creases me up. They are running a giveaway currently. Um, she's trying to increase her subscriber numbers. And once she gets up to 100, she is going to do this giveaway. So pop over and have a look. It's the Aria Bark. I will try and remember and link it below. Um, Aria Bark podcast subscribe if you watch her last episode which went up on sunday i think um she explains all about it in there and you've got the chance of winning a really nice prize actually and you don't have to do anything other than be a subscriber and comment so that's both of those are kind of um my apology for excluding you because you're not a sock knitter sorry I didn't mean to be mean. Now there's somebody at the door. 
hang on a minute sorry about that but it was worth it because Alex panic ye not the yarn has just arrived knocked a load of stuff on the floor this is going to be a long one guys I've got loads to show you now okay two more things to clear up from last week's episode first of all the August giveaway I drew it on Instagram it was chaos as per usual um, the lady who won has very kindly donated the prize back to the podcast because she's in New Zealand and felt that it would be too expensive to send it to New Zealand which is just really sweet of her so thank you Deborah is her name thank you Deborah that was a really kind thought so I have redrawn the prize the prize is if you've forgotten a sock bag and a sock set and the the winner is now Jane Scarisbrick so Jane if you could email me at mousesmakes at gmail.com with your address I will get that off to you the other thing I was meant to show you last week and completely forgot was that I had some new yarn but I'm going to save that and show you later because I have a whole pile of new yarn to show you. I know. And the worst bit of it is it's not all of it either. There's more coming. I have been led astray. Doesn't matter how much I try and blame other people, it's only me, really, isn't it? I'm the one pressing the buttons. Anyway, before I get involved in all of that, the sock along starts today, as I have mentioned about 15 times now, because I am quite excited. It's my first knit along. So let me quickly give you the rules. The threads are up and open on Ravelry. There is the Sock Along 2021 thread, and that's for you to chatter and share away. There is the Halloween thread for finished objects only, no chatter. And there is the birthday finished objects thread. Again, no chatter on those two because I will just lose control of everything. And as you know, keeping things orderly is a bit of an issue for me at the moment so don't make it any more difficult than it need be please right on instagram if you just want to share what you're working on the hashtag you need is and it's all one word mouses makes sock along just checking that's right yeah two s's in the middle Mouses makes sock along. We've got a couple of people sharing already, which is great. When it comes to your finished objects, the hashtag you want if you're entering for the Halloween prize is MM Halloween Cal 2021. If you're entering for the birthday prize, it's MM Birthday Cal 2021. The Sock Along will run from today, the 1st of September, until midnight, the 31st of October. And then I will draw it probably in the next podcast. There is also a prize for my favourite pair out of everybody's socks, which again is a little bit self-indulgent, but that's how I'm feeling at the moment. Let me show you the prizes before I go any further. So I've mentioned Halloween prize and birthday prize. The Halloween prize is a lovely batty bag with a purple inside. I forgot to show you the inside last week. A set of minis from 
Little Mouse House and they're called Troll Music and they are 7525 Superwash Merino and Nylon and a packet of Stitch Markers Progress Keepers this isn't one of them this is one of mine which is the same and they are bats to go with your batty bag that's the Halloween prize so if that's the prize you want to enter for use the Halloween hashtag or enter in the Halloween finished objects thread when you're finished the birthday prize is a koi cart bag with a flowery lining and that comes with a high twist sock set again by Little Mouse House this is scented candles um, so you've got a hundred is it a hundred? no it's a 50 gram yes 50 gram skein and two minis contrasting minis um, and again that is 8515 superwash merino and nylon and the little stitch marker set that comes with that in a little tin is oh, how can I do this so you can see there's a Jaffa cake a little piece of Battenberg cute little piece of birthday cake which is going in and out of focus and if I can get it to turn around the other way a jammy dodger that's the birthday prize so if that's the one that you would prefer enter in the birthday finished objects thread or use the birthday hashtag the other thing I have to tell you is that on a Thursday morning at 11am British summer time we are having a zoom sock along or a sock along zoom whichever you, way round you prefer it um, if you would like to join in it's only 40 minutes um, unless we get a lot of interest I'm just going with 40 minutes because that's what that's what you can have for free on zoom um, just email me at mousesmakes at gmail.com and I will send you the ID and the passcode for the meeting you can also if you follow me on Instagram you can also um, direct message me on Instagram if you want the passcode and the meeting ID and I'm hoping that I can find how to get into it yesterday I, I use Zoom a lot, but I've never hosted a meeting. And yesterday, she'll fall off the sofa again, Nikki, who is um, another Zoom virgin, if you like, and hasn't used it at all before. She and I had a bit of a practice. So I had a practice hosting the meeting and she had a practice joining a meeting. And that went well. We managed that. So I have high hopes for tomorrow morning. But have some patience with me if if you're not immediately let in at 11 o'clock I will do my best okay I think that's all I have to tell you sock along wise yes I've had a few comments um, over the last couple of weeks I've shown a lot of finished socks and I've had a few comments from people who may be under the misapprehension that that's all I knit, um, which is definitely not the case. At the moment, I have two cardigans, two sweaters, a cowl and a shawl on the needles. And that's not counting the temperature blanket, which, quite frankly, I haven't touched for weeks because I'm losing the will to live with it. That may be done. That might be as far as it goes for the temperature blanket. So I've been clearing my needles, my sock needles and my sock bags ready for the sock along. And I did really well. For three whole days, I had no socks on the needles. And then I cracked because I couldn't have no socks. And I cast on this pair. So in case you're wondering, if you've got a sock that you've started, yes, you can enter, enter that into the knit along. So long as it's not more than one sock, you know, preferably one sock, no more than half done. Um, then, yes, there's no reason why you can't enter that. So I cast this sock on. 
it's my own pattern just going with the flow and seeing how I feel when I when I cast it on I should really put it on a blocker and then you'd be able to see a bit better I've just finished the gusset and I like to pull from the centre of a ball of yarn or a cake of yarn and so I did that and wow this was the Ebola of yarn bath all that pink came out it was all knotted all tied up this ball did not or is not intended to be pulled from the centre however it was too late I'd already done it and I was a little bit confused because I was expecting this colour and I got that colour <laughs> which if I'm honest is not a colour that I choose for myself peach and pale yellows are not among my favourite colours but anyway I quite like it so I've got down as I say I've just finished the gusset I'm, let me get on there. let me get something so you can see it a bit better my concern with it I'm making a hell of, hell of a mess over here now stuff is falling everywhere my concern with it is that I'm not going to get the other one to match anywhere near because it's most self-striping yarns are are just a few rows of stripe aren't they whereas this is quite a big chunk so I'm not sure I'm going to get the other one to match at all so what I'm thinking I might do is start from the outside of the ball for the second sock and do it the opposite way around so have blue and then peach in the middle because I suspect this is soon going to turn back to the peach so it's going to have a peach leg and a peach foot toe certainly toe um yeah so that's the first of my socks sock along wise it has presented me with a little bit of a problem because you know oh, i was going to put it back in the bag oh. you know how I, I can't do two things at once at all can i i used to not anymore you know how I am with socks that don't match is where I, what I was trying to say that's the one that I've started I have gathered together some more that I intend to start that I just want to show you very quickly this colour this is from knit and pearl yarns sunflower garden set and i was going to make a striped jumper with it but i've just bought i know it goes against the grain but i have just purchased from a shop a fully made sweater in very nearly this color so i thought i'm going to make some socks to go with it because that's how i roll i co I I'm sorry, English is my second language. My first language is complete gobbledygook. I like to coordinate my socks with the rest of my outfit. It's very sad, I know. I blame my mother. So I've got that caked up ready to go. And this gorgeous one which is birthday bouquet so you can see why I've got to knit it for my birthday sock along can't you from Little Mouse House all of these are 75 25 superwash merino and nylon and this one which is freckles by Ducky Darlings got the label over here because it rolled away and escaped me this doesn't actually say what the percentage of each is but I'm fairly certain it's the same so that is just gorgeous autumnal colours and I've got 
a little bit of brown. It's a Signet Truly Woolrich dark brown that I'm going to do a couple of rows at the top of each cuff. Maybe the heel. Maybe the heel certainly on the freckles, but probably not on the birthday bouquet. Oh, I've not finished. No, nowhere near finished. And this is also, let me bring it a bit closer because it's, you can't quite see the colours. This is also from the Sunflower Gardens uh, set by Knit and Pearl Yarns. Um, oh, it's going in and out a bit. Can you see it's got navy and yellow in there with the blues sorry with the creams and the greens and so i've caked up this little this little chap um and this is from my star trek i think it's called to boldly go mini set from ducky darlings and i'd been going to make some Star Trek socks striping the colours but then I saw how nicely this goes with this and I thought mm, I'm going to sacrifice my Star Trek socks so that's what I've got caked up and planned so far there will be more I'm going to have to put those down there because Things are getting quite out of control. So those are what I've got planned so far. How many I get cast on and how many I get finished remains to be seen. Um, that's what, for five pairs, I'm aiming for eight. I'm aiming for eight pairs during the, the sock along. We'll see. No pressure on anyone else to make more than one pair um, but I kind of feel an obligation really to do my best and ra not rather than just go yes I made this sock sock singular not a pair I feel like I need to push the barriers as I said I don't just knit socks so I thought I'd catch you up on a couple of my other projects. This one you have seen before, Peter's Cardigan. Peter's Cardigan is perfect TV knitting. We're currently watching Dexter. We started watching it ages ago, but we started on a series that was in the middle of however many series there are. And I wasn't all that into it, but we've started right from series one, episode one. I think we've either just finished the first series or we're about to, and I am thoroughly hooked now. And this is excellent TV knitting. It doesn't look like it, I know, but it is. It's deceptively simple. I'm trying to get a decent colour for you. Because it's coming out a lot yellower than it is in real life yeah so this is rice stitch i think and then you've got the cabled sections and i've just got to done the first decrease ready for the raglan shaping so that's coming along really well very pleased with that and i'm enjoying knitting it because it's it's an easy enough pattern to follow, but with enough interest that it's not just plain stocking stitch, lose the will to live knitting. And of course it's Aaron, so it's knitting up quite quickly, which has to be a bonus, doesn't it? Bearing in mind I've knit nothing but fingering weight for most of this year, I think. Yeah, I've done a couple of DK sweaters and one one Aaron, but mostly I'm knitting fingering weight. So this is like a holiday, having an Aaron, having an Aaron sweater to knit. I've also just cast on another version of the Rocket Tee. 
I forgot something. I'll tell you in a minute. Let me do this and then I'll tell you. I reminded myself because I caught sight of something. Honestly, it doesn't matter how carefully I plan. I still go off piste somewhere along the line and forget something. But I've remembered before I finished filming today. So that's got to be a step in the right direction. OK. Another version of the Rocket Tea by Tannis Lavely, Tannis Fiber Arts. And this time I am using some greens. I've got three different greens going on here. The first stripe is this one. And that's coming out a bit more blue than it is in, in real life. This is from the Sunflower Gardens set, but it's also, she sells it separately as Forest. Again, these are all 75, 25 Superwash Merino and Nylon. That's from Knit and Pearl Yarns, Sunflower Gardens set. This is also from Knit and Pearl Yarns, but this is Malachite. I've had that for a while. And I see now why I forgot the thing I forgot, because I haven't brought it over here. But we'll rectify that momentarily. Yeah, Malachite, Knit and Pearl Yarns. This must be very confusing to watch, but this is how my brain works. It just, my mum used to say I had a grasshopper mind. It's just all over the place. It's like a computer with several tabs open at once, none of them working very efficiently. And the third colour, and this is something I was supposed to show you last week because I had some new yarn to show you and forgot all about it. This is Mojito from Amanda at Little Lycac Yarns. And it is a lovely, it's coming out a much bluer green on there. Uh, it's got more of a yellowy tinge to it in real life. That's my third yarn. So they are striping up quite nicely. You've got the forest there at the bottom, which is actually the top. In the middle is the malachite, which has got both greens and some yellows and some navy in. And then the, the last stripe is the mojito. And I think that's going to work out really nicely. And I apologise that I'm knitting the same thing again, but I'm a bit like that. If I find something that I really like, I will knit it over and over and over again. And there are at least two more versions of this um, in the planning stage, shall we say. Yeah. At least they'll all look slightly different, so they won't be quite as boring. I won't be looking at the same colour all the time. Right, the thing I forgot is one of the prizes for the sock along. And I'm going to lean... Sorry, very close up. Close up there. The prize for my overall favourite. I've been waiting for it to arrive. And it's arrived. So there's a... A mini set, mini sock set from Little Mouse House, Troll Music again, and there is this mug. And the reason I remembered that I hadn't shown it to you is I caught sight of the cushion. Now a friend of mine is starting up a business um, printing things like this. So far you can get, well he's not quite ready yet. When he's ready, I will link it below. But so far you can get mugs, cushions and tote bags. I've got a tote bag, which I've put too far up for you to be able to see. Um, so you will be able to buy your own mouse's makes mug. Or he will have other designs. Or even if you've got your own design, I think if it's in the right format, he'll be able to print them up with your own design. So, yeah so excited about this mug 
so very, very excited that I forgot all about showing it to you. Do you think that's subliminal? I may have wanted to keep it for myself. I have got one of my own. It's quite possible. Yes, so this prize, digressing yet again, this is what my favourite of all the socks, this is the prize. And I'll put that very carefully down now. That's a couple of stars off my good podcaster chart, isn't it? I forgot one of my prizes. Oh dear. Okay. Back on track now. So, yet again, last week I forgot to show you my new yarn. You've seen the mojito. But I also ordered from Amanda at Little Lycat Yarns this gorgeous pink, which is coming out a bit orangey. And it's blowing out a bit. I'll put it over by the window. If I put it over by the window, you can't see it. That's not very helpful at all, is it? No. I can't get a true colour. It's looking like very orangey sort of flamingo pink there, which it isn't. And this is from her Montague range. Oh, sorry, this is Montague from her Romeo and Juliet range. Um, and it is a lovely pink. But I'm a bit frustrated. You can't see properly. Maybe if I hid my head. Hang on a minute. I can't tell if that came out any better. This is just chaos, isn't it? I'm glad. A lot of people keep telling me that you like the fact that it's chaos because it, it's, you know, a bit more real world. I'm very relieved about that because I can't do anything other than this. <laughs> anyway, Amanda also popped in this little 10 gram mini. And this is Summer Skies, which isn't... I mean, this... Until I discovered greens, which was quite recently, this and the pink were my favourite colours. It is just, and again, it's coming out a bit darker on there than it is in real life. It's so pretty, such a pretty pale turquoise that I can sort of feel there might be a skein of this in my not very distant future. And she also sent each... Um, skein of yarn had a little stitch marker on it this one was on the mojito and it is a little cocktail glass the Romeo and Juliet range had a little book of course that's her Shakespeare range she's doing um, she's got I think the Tempest and there was another one which again gone Blown away like the dandelion seeds on the wind. And she also popped in this little stitch marker, which could not be more apt, quite frankly. Because I do love knitting. So that's what I should have shown you all of that last week, but I forgot. That's not all I've got to show you, yarn-wise. I, I buy a lot of yarn from Knit and Pearl Yarns, who was Ange Knits. I have her year-long advent. She does, um, she'll do an advent for you. And you can have one month, three months, six months or 12 months. And of course, I went for 12 months. And I have been so good. I've actually surprised myself in only opening the yarns on the correct day. And today, I open them on the first of every month. Today, I'm going to open September's. This, I never know what colour it's going to be. So this is, sorry about the rustling. It's a necessary evil 
Ooh. Ooh. Oh dear. So it's still got her old Ange Knits label on it because obviously it's all parceled up in January when she was still Ange Knits. And the only downside is that none of these have colourway names on. Um, but that's really rather nice. This could end up being more socks for my sock along. So that was from my advent calendar. That was September's offering. But I also bought, I saw she got some new colourways. And I went on to look. I've got this yarn. Which again, this colour really sort of yellows out. This is much the same colour. It's almost exactly the same colour as Peter's cardigan. And it is not that. If I lean out of the picture, does it make it any better? I don't know. But it's not that yellowy colour. It's, um, well, it is. A, it's a true burgundy or wine colour. And I want to make a rocket tee as it's designed with a solid colour stripe and then a stripe of this mohair -y type stuff. So I went on and I bought this to go with it. And this is deep wine. But I don't know. I mean, it's a bit hard for you to tell because you're not getting the correct colour, really. Um, I don't know if I actually like them together. I will ponder that because it's not like I'm in any rush to cast it on. But while I was there, as is always happening to me, I also saw this. This is called Pink Robin, and as you look at it, you probably can't see all the lovely colours that are in it. There's some gorgeous pinks, but there's also a little surprise, golden yellow. So I had to have that one too. And I also bought another skein of this. I have got one skein of this already. It came as part of her spring collection. This is Rainbow Specs, which you can buy, obviously, on its own or as part of the collection. And I bought the collection and I thought I might do another rainbow tea. Not rainbow tea, sorry, rocket tea. I've now got the rocket. This one took just under 240 grams. So I thought if I had two of these and I could pick really any of the colours within it, even just the cream, um, and I would have enough if I just put in like a every now and again a, a thin stripe of a different colour to make up the 40 gram difference so it's like I say once I find a pattern I really like I get a bit obsessed with knitting that so that's another rocket tee I think the reason I like this one so much is I made a breezeway tee a few weeks before and it's too big the neckline is too wide and as you wear it 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 gives a bit doesn't it and so it it falls off my shoulder which i mean is a look it's a look in and of itself but it doesn't look the way i imagined it would when i knit it so this one which i think fits me perfectly I'm more inclined to knit more of this um, but I seem to have got the hang of my tension my gauge whatever you want to call it using a fingering weight yarn 
um because these are the only two sweaters i've ever made using fingering weight so i think i i, I can probably branch out a little bit more um come out of my comfort zone and just keep knitting the rocket tee in various different orientations and look for another pattern i have got another pattern in my not very short short list um but whenever i look at yarn and think what i want to do with it i keep coming back to this as long as i don't get bored we're all right aren't we anyway new yarn the very, very lovely Alex from My Yarny Corner and her partner Danny have just dyed up a new lot of yarns. And I think there were 18 in total and I've bought four of them. And I'm trying to be like, angry with myself but i'm supporting a new business i'm supporting a small business and it's for a very lovely couple and a friend of mine so that's my um justification would you like to see it when i finished my pity party would you like to see it so here it is. This one is DK. It's the first time she's done DK. Sorry, I can't get it all in in one go. This is wood oak. And as I say, it's a DK, but it's a 7525 superwash merino and nylon. And I am intending to try Crazy Sock Lady's DK pattern, which is a free pattern. Um, it will be the first time I've knit DK socks. Um, I mean, how lovely are those colours? She has, I believe, got this colourway in the shop still in fingering weight. She did have when I looked yesterday while I was buying more yarn. I'm not really very sorry. I'm kind of paying lip service to being sorry, but I'm not sorry at all. But I did not just buy that one. Oh no. Hang on, I've lost the little card. Where are we? Here we are. Because this has literally just come. That's what the ring on the doorbell was. I also bought, again by Alex at Mayani Corner, This one is fingering weight and it is called Falling Leaves and there is a little snowflake stitch marker attached. Can't help thinking this might end up as socks or it might end up as a cowl. I've got some yarn that I bought from Alex a few weeks ago um, that I've been saving for a very special project and I really should get it cast on soon because I'm going to want it soon. I'm being very mysterious. The yarn is, um, it's her Lonely Lamplighter yarn and it's a gorgeous, really dark green. Um, and I have a special pattern that I want to knit in it. And I might well end up making that same pattern in this colour as well. I have, I can't decide or whether to make socks with this. Because it is, I mean, the colours in it are kind of coming out true to real life. just so pretty and you'll have to excuse me but i haven't had a chance to admire it yet because it has literally only just come so and again that's 75 
25 Super Wash Merino and Nylon. So that's it. So far, there is some more to come. There's some more to come from Alex and also the truly evil Caroline of the aforementioned Aria Buck podcast showed some yarn that she'd bought on her podcast a couple of days ago and that led me astray somewhat so there's some more but this is commercial yarn coming from Wool Warehouse and I don't know where it's going to go I genuinely don't know where it's going to go there ought to be and I'm not making light of it at all but there ought to be some kind of like Yarn Buyers Anonymous that I could join, I think. And I, I often think, well, I don't really do anything else, to be honest. I don't, I don't drink, obviously. Um, don't go out anywhere much because thank you covid um i mean i've got my car i haven't even got the bike on the road the bike's sawns and so you know there's not there's no cost involved with my bike at the moment so actually yes there's there's my rationalization for it my money that would go on insuring and taxing and moting and everything the bike and fuel and what have you I'm spending on yarn because I am, my bike is tucked away for the foreseeable future because I'm not strong enough or well enough to ride it, but I can knit. So yeah, there you go. I've replaced my motorcycling with my knitting. Does that sound fair or does that sound like a feeble excuse? I would say answers on a postcard, please, but I don't actually want to know. <laughs> what you think about that pathetic excuse okay then enough nonsense i will see those of you who are joining in with the zoom sock along tomorrow morning and i will see or you will see me uh next week when there may be socks finished who knows there will hopefully be some more knitting done on jumpers and cardigans and shawls and so on. The shawl I'm knitting, I must just tell you, I, sorry, I'm coming close again. I haven't shown you the shawl because so far it's a little bit underwhelming. Because it's just grey garter stitch. But that will soon be a little bit more interesting. So I might show you that properly next week. I'm knitting that for um, Ruth Loves to Knit and Little Monkeys and Me. They're having a across the pond shawl cow, which I think finishes the end of September. So I really need to crack on with that as well and not be distracted by all the shiny sock wool that I have. So waffling again oh my goodness we're up to nearly 50 minutes i do apologize um yes happy sock knitting if you're joining us if not happy knitting check out those other podcasts if you feel like you want to join on with their make alongs and i will see you i keep saying that but actually you will see me next wednesday bye everyone